Hi YouTube. Welcome to the uh, Adventure Game Studio uh, how-to series where I will be walking you through the Adventure Game Studio uh, editor and how to use it to create a game. Adventure Game Studio is a program written by Chris Jones and it allows you to create uh, adventure games similar to the ones that were created by Sierra Online and LucasArts back in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, games like uh, King's Quest, Quest for Glory, uh, the Secret of Monkey Island, those kind of types of games, and it does a really, really good job of that. I mean, it's it's a really great um, program for for for, um, for for creating those types of games. It allows you to totally totally customize your your interface in your game. Um, it has great features for uh, creating um, you know your own custom GUIs in the game, um, but it also has built-in defaults like saving your game, restoring your game. Uh, your inventory management, things like that are sort of built in for you. So it's a really good program uh, for, for just allowing you to create a great, uh, a great adventure game. So the first thing I wanted to do is um, explain that uh, the game that I'll be actually showing uh, how to, to design this, in this series is the Sammy's Quest game. And if you haven't already, um, you might want to check out, before you watch this, this series of videos, you might want to check out the Sammy's Quest walkthrough that's on my channel. Um, Densming, uh, D-E-N-S-M-I-N-G, uh, on YouTube. There's a series, there's a playlist there for Sammy's Quest walkthrough, and that just sort of walks through the, the game that we'll be um, going over in the AGS editor, just to kind of give you an idea of what the game is before we jump in. So the first thing I wanted to do, wanted to do for, um, for AGS uh, editor video is show where to get AGS. Um, I've got a web browser up here, and actually I'm at the um, Adventure Game Studio homepage, which is... Uh, adventuregamestudio.co.uk um, so that's all one word obviously adventuregamestudio.co.uk and once you get there um, there's lots and lots of things to do uh, on the website but just to get to get AD, AGS there's a download AGS link on the left you click on that um, currently the current version I believe is 3.0.2 um, so you can get that from, um, if you scroll down a little bit, you can get it from either the German server or the USA server, whichever is closest to wherever you are. Um, or you can get a, um, a RAR file, which doesn't include the demo game, um, from the download plain RAR file uh, link. So however you want to get it, it's fine. Once you download it, you uh, run the installation program, and it will install the, install the editor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, close that out, and I'm going to load up AGS just to kind of give a brief overview of um, uh, you know what I'll, I'll load up um, Sammy's Quest this isn't the complete Sammy's Quest um, but just to give you an idea of what the editor is and, and sort of the, the, the different parts of the editor here um, once you've got the editor open the, that, that screen you saw was the wizard and asked me what I wanted to do and I just said load up, AG, uh, load up Sammy's Quest um, here in the middle on the left, you have what's called the um, the main you know view window, and this shows you your current um, document that you have open, and I call it a document. It could be a character, it could be a room, it could be uh, a view, it could be a font, it could be whatever whatever particular thing you have open. Currently, it's displaying this the start page, and then in the upper right corner is is really your meat and potatoes of your um, of your your game. This is where you have all of the different components of your game uh, here. Um, this is called the project tree. Um, every, anywhere from general settings of your game um, to your GUIs um, to the different characters in the game. Um, scroll down, I have the different rooms in the game that I, that I have. And of course, this is not a complete version of Sammy's Quest, so I only have one room and one character. But uh, if I had more, you'd see them listed here. Um, your different mouse cursors that you have in the game. So everything, every component in your game is going to be listed here in the project tree. Um, if I double click on any particular component, for example, Sammy, It'll bring it. It'll bring up Sammy, um, that particular component in the uh, the document window, and then in the lower right corner, then you have what's called the properties window, and that has the properties of the currently opened um, object. So uh, it has all the different attributes that you can assign to that object. Um, for for the case of a character, you have you know the name of the character, the script name, what room the character starts in, uh, the X and Y location that the that the character starts in that room. Uh, and just lots of other things associated with that particular character. Um, for an inventory item, for example, if I double click on any of these inventory items, you have um, 
you know, where the hot spot is located for that inventory item. You have the name of the item, whether or not the player starts with the item. So there's just a whole slew of different things that you can do uh, that you can set on, uh, via what's called, what are called the attributes or the properties of that particular item down here in the lower right hand corner. Uh, across the top you have your standard toolbar. Um, you'll get more icons depending on whether or not you're, in a, you're editing a room or not. For example, if I double click on the main hall, um, when I go to hotspots, I have, you know, I have drawing, sort of drawing buttons that came up when I clicked on the hotspots here that allowed me to draw in the room. Um, and so that's really the basic interface for, uh, for AGS Editor, um, which we'll be going over. Um, so uh, in the next series of videos, we'll be talking about, um, actually in the first series of videos, we'll be talking about your first character, how to create your first character, uh, Sammy in this case. And then we'll, we'll go from there, we'll create the room, we'll put Sammy in the room, we'll have him say a few things, and, uh, and then we'll, um, we'll go from there. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, leave comments, by the way, if you have um, suggestions or if you have things that I didn't cover clearly enough, and I'll try to uh, post, you know, I can post um, additional videos if people uh, have questions or, or want additional um, questions answered or something like that. Another good place, and I meant to mention this when I went over, when I talked about the... Um, AGS Studio, um, Adventure Game Studio website. Um, you go there now. If you go to the forums, there's a link over here on the left for forums. This is a, a really, 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 really good place to go for questions. Um, there, AGS, had, ha, AGS has a very, very active community of people who, who use um, AGS. Um, people know a lot more than I do about it so I'm, I'm no expert by any means I've created one game using AGS and that's it but there are people that on the forums that have created you know tons and tons of games that know a lot more about this than I than I do um, so if you go into forums enter the forums enter the main forums now you can create a, a login um, I'm Densming in there um, but you can create a login um, if you want to and you know go go in here ask questions look to see if your question might have already been answered in the forums but if not you know ask questions uh, CJ Chris Jones the person that actually wrote AGS uh, at it, the AGS engine um, is a frequent member and contributor to to the forums as well so you know if any if anybody knows the answer he will and he'll he'll post if uh, if he um, if he reads it and has the answer he'll, he'll make sure that he he contributes as well so um, it's a great place to go if you have questions while you're designing a game um, I know I did, and I continue to. I mean, there's there's tons of things in, in uh, AGS Edit that I have never experienced before, or, or maybe I just don't even know. So, um, but but if you have questions or, or just comments, or if I just say something totally wrong that's totally not true, then you know feel free to po uh, post on the comments um, and subscribe to my videos. I'll be adding them uh, as I create them, uh, as I have time at night and, and what have you. So, um, uh, anyway. I hope that you all watch my videos. Take it easy. Bye.